connected to everything else. Leonardo da Vinci. Painting is just another way of keeping a diary. Pablo Picasso. And we do with space what is not normally used for art. Cristo. So this um, lesson plan that I'm doing for you guys today is kind of a, a collision of history and art. These are a few pictures of some murals that are throughout San Jose. Some of them are at the uh, Mexican Heritage Museum. And then also um, the middle picture, which you guys see down in the bottom, the black and white, is um, a picture of the original Mission San Jose. So along the Guadalupe River, the Mexican and Spanish settlers set up El Pueblo, which is the town, and um, the missions on either side of the creek. Um, and so that was kind of before we had any American settlers. So basically San Jose and our whole area, it was Native Americans originally, and then Spanish and Mexican settlers. And we were actually owned, um, governed by Mexico. So I don't know if you guys knew that until 1850. Wow. Yeah. And then in 1850, we got statehood, which means we became part of the United States. And did you guys know that San Jose was actually the original capital before Sacramento? No. So um, pretty interesting, right? Because you guys know, don't probably always think about like where street names come from, where high school names come from, junior high school names come from, but they all come from somewhere. I want to just get you guys thinking about what was here before we were all here, right? Before we had downtown and shopping centers and houses and condos, like there was all parcels of land that were divided up and it was mostly farms and orchards. Santa Clara County actually provided 25% of the world's trade in produce, right? The world, 25%. That's a lot for our little area. My name is Kimberly or Kimmy. Um, I'm 13, and I wanted mine to pay homage to. Um, San Jose's cultural diversity um, and how we have a lot of different cultures. So you have the Native Americans, um, Mexicans, Latinas, and Chinese, and other parts of Asia, and the, the digital culture that's just now coming about. Um, my artwork, I kind of wanted to pay homage to um, San Jose's orchards and then also pay homage to how that um, San Jose is now becoming a more and more digitalized um, city. Uh, my name is Sean and I'm 12 years old and I wanted my picture to reflect on different cultures as well and our diversity of different skin colors and um, nationalities that bear state together. Um, I think it's so, for my um, piece, it really like brings in what San Jose it, like used to be mostly just um, orchards and farms and then um, also our new more recent history of technology and then really putting that into a piece of art that can um, be it's um, simple but it can really be powerful um, for mine I think it kind of like chronicles the history of San Jose as well, mm -hmm. um, starting with the Native Americans who lived here way before any of us did, and then being owned by Mexico and having that influence with the missions and stuff, and then with the Chinese immigrants that came here and really like all about like business and stuff, and then the digital age that's really kind of making us a very wealthy city. Yeah, I think so because um, a lot of art, uh, especially nowadays, they um, really like show, like especially um, street art or something. They show what's happening in the world right now, and it could really change someone. Like, it's really powerful. I think another really important thing about art classes is, is that it kind of teaches you how to put your emotions and like what you're feeling and what you're seeing in the world into like a visualization, yes. so that you don't just like keep it pent up inside, you learn how to like, express your feelings. Like public art, it can definitely express like feelings and stuff, but also it can, since a lot of people, some people don't really know what's going on around the world because they're too, 
attached to what they're doing on their daily lives. And I feel like it can definitely show history and it can kind of like educate people on what happened earlier. And also it can inspire them to do other things. I would definitely because if if my art did go up on the mural, then I would want to see it and I, I could say like, wow, I was the one who thought of it also that I was the one who contributed on painting the whole thing.